what is olympus dow welcome back guys it's crypto rocco from rockstar trading channel in this video guys i'll explain to you everything that you need to know about olympus dow and ohm i'll explain to you what it is i'll explain to you how olympus dow works i'll talk about if ohm can go to zero if it's a scam if it's a ponzi scheme i'll talk about game theory and explain to you my long-term thoughts on ohm and olympus dow I'll talk about the crazy APY that Ohm has over 3,000% 3, 3, if you invest in Ohm and the price goes down because of this crazy APY you can still really make good money I'll talk about the longevity of this crazy APY and finally guys I'll share with you how much you can look to make I've got my calculator out share with you how much you can look to make if you invest in Ohm today so if you're invested in Ohm guys or you're looking to buy Ohm make sure you watch the video till the end and also this won't be a rockstar trading video if I don't share with you my price prediction so I'll share with you my long-term price prediction if Ohm bottoms out and starts trending higher and you're staking and getting those crazy APYs. This could be an amazing, amazing investment. So make sure you watch the video till the end and let's get started. So Olympus Dow says that they're a decentralized reserve currency. Olympus is building a community-owned decentralized finance financial infrastructure to bring stability and transparency for the world so i know that doesn't mean much i will i will share with you more pictures and get to the fun bits of how much you can look to make but please do make sure make what make sure you watch the full video guys it's important to understand what they're trying to achieve the, i think this is a almost a revolutionary technology what they've come up with and there's been hundreds of forks and this is a really good advancement in the cryptocurrency and DeFi space so i know this might get a bit boring but make sure you watch the video till the end then and hopefully you can make potentially life-changing money and i will talk about the fun bit of how much money you can make but i'll talk about some of the boring bits and i've put some pictures in so it's not just a you know text presentation so the decentralized decentralized reserve currency is protocol is based on ohm each ohm is backed by assets of die frax and there's ethereum and few more in the olympus treasury giving it an intrinsic value that it cannot fall below so this is a really important thing to understand it is backed buy assets so it's not just you know the us dollar which is not backed by anything or even bitcoin i'm massively bullish on bitcoin but that's also not backed by anything and if you talk about the tether the tether the ust tether or die they have really they used a lot in cryptocurrency if you are you know buying cryptocurrency invested in cryptocurrency i'm sure you've used these stable currencies usdt or usdc or DAI, and they're all pegged to the dollar so if you're holding them the price of dollar as you can see has been going down the purchasing power so if you're using them you're still losing the value so although they play a really important part in the in the whole cryptocurrency market but still that is a bad thing about them so if this own currency is trying to solve this and i'm not saying that they will but that what they have proposed is revolutionary thinking and it's a great approach in my opinion and they are not creating a pegged currency so they're not pegged to the dollar but they're backed so they're backed by currency and then i'll go i'll go into a lot of detail on how much is backed so at the moment if you look at the market treasury that olympus dow has each ohm is backed by 66 dollars so if the own price drops i mean uh, uh, even if the own price drops is still pretty good because you know uh, it's backed by one dollar but this is the floor price the floor price for ohm is around 66 so this is really really interesting to me so it's not backed it's not pegged to the dollar it's backed by the dollar and also if people are saying that can it go to zero is it a scam how can it be a scam if their protocol unless there's a bug in the system and their protocol holds a lot of money so unless there's a unless there's an issue with the protocol a bug in the code or they get hacked which anything can happen in cryptocurrency you would say that they can't go to zero and it is not a scam in my opinion so i'll explain to you a lot more i'm just trying to briefly introduce you to the project and i'll go into a lot more detail on how ohm works so that's just a high level what give what it gives value and also the the the, the logic the behind it the the vision behind what they're trying to achieve so ohm is backed not pegged each ohm is backed by one die not pegged to it because the treasury backs ohm with at least one die the protocol would buy back and burn ohm when it trades below one die so one of the things again this is rocks trading group so i'm talking more about money and investment so the, the key thing for you to achieve is if you start staking ohm today let's say how long will it take for
for ohm for you to get your money back basically so let's say you put ten thousand dollars in how much you know how long do you need the ohm price to stay around where it is or go up and the staking reward stay the same for you to get your money back and i'll give you some examples of that if you you know make sure you have enough ohm then you can sell some and I think I'll talk about game theory as well. I'll let you decide what you want. But one of the goals you could have is get half your money back and leave more in. So I'll, I'll touch on how you can get enough ohm so you get back below the floor price. And that should be a goal. But if you talk about the how the ohm protocol works, if it goes below one die, ohm would start buying back. And if you look at how much money they have and, and the current supply of ohm, they could they, it is back to one dollar. It's way it's, it's a way more back than one dollar sixty six and they can start buying back ohm so it shouldn't go back below zero you may say that ohm floor or intrinsic value is one die believe that is actually price will be one die plus the premium and the premium is also what the market decides so at the moment i'm making a video that you can make money so you're happy to buy ohm at a higher price but the, the intrinsic value is one dollar but the intrinsic value the floor price is a lot higher as well because you need to th think about how much they have got in their treasury as well so Olympus DAO consists of protocol managed treasury protocol owned liquidity bond mechanism and staking rewards that are designed to control supply expansion with liquidity bonds and protocol is a able to accumulate its own liquidity I'll, t I'll explain to you a lot more about the importance of Olympus DAO owning its own liquidity. Most cryptocurrency projects don't own their liquidity. With Olympus DAO owning their own liquidity, they earn their liquidity LP fees. I wasn't sure whether to talk about this in a lot more detail because it is a bit more advanced concept and you probably don't need to know in a lot more detail. But Olympus DAO owns its own liquidity and this helps them earn fees. So if you've given liquidity to Uniswap or you know some of the decentralized exchanges, you earn some fees. Olympus DAO owns its own liquidity. So they earn that fees and this is another way they earn money. I'll touch on how the the treasury grows by bonding staking and liquidity but this is a really big positive for olympus dow most cryptocurrency projects you see you know they have to sell their tokens to raise funds and they have to borrow liquidity and you see the prices of most cryptocurrencies you know they moon usually and then they have a dip olympus dow has its own liquidity so this is a very very big positive uh, for me for olympus dow so how does the treasury work this is overall how it works and i'll leave the links below there's some amazing articles you can read amazing content there is if you want to learn more about about it a couple of websites i'll say first thing is the white paper read the white paper most stuff i have on this video is from the white paper so make sure you read the white paper i'll leave some other links below as well some some dashboards and where you can find out more about um so Olympus DAO, so bond and LP fees, so bond sales and LP fees increase treasury revenue, lock in liquidity and help control ohm supply. So how do they do that? So let's talk about bonding. Bonding is a process of selling an asset to Olympus in an exchange for a discounted ohm that vests over a course of five days. Users have an incentive to bond when the return would earn from it is greater than that from staking. While the protocol initially only offered bonds for ohm die and ohm frax LP, this has been extended to to include pure other stable coins so basically how it works is olympus DAO will give you a discount to buy ohm so let's say the ohm price is 200 dollars you can buy it at four or five percent discount if you give them ethereum and that's how the olympus DAO starts building that treasury so it is backed by something it's not just you know air and like even the dollar they're just printing money how they want this is slightly different they have something backed with olympus DAO bonding serves a key function for olympus dial for start starters it serves as a funnel for protocol to be able to accumulate more assets grow its treasury in doing so it is able it is able to grow its RFV, therefore being able to increase the amount of ohm that can be issued as well as sustain high yields for stakers so i touched on how uh, how ohm can keep the, how ohm is backed and how it can sustain the high yields is because what they're saying they back one ohm with one die so let's say you come to bond ohm uh, current price is 200 dollars you get ohm for 180 the protocol can print s s protocol will print one ohm 
and back the one dollar with one ohm but they can print 179 ohm and you know you give that as a staking rewards and the price of ohm was you know 800 dollars something crazy you can see how the treasury is growing and how it can keep sustaining the staking rewards so that is how it sustains the staking rewards i hope that makes sense i've explained it in really simple terms if you have any questions you can comment below i'll make another video i'll do a live stream if you are enjoying this video guys hit that like button my plan is i'll be making lots of own content i'll put in like a thousand or ten thousand dollars in defy share with you exactly you know how to buy how to stake though all those video contents will be coming similar to the lunar staking video series i've made i want to make an own defy series i still do price predictions still share with you technical analysis which coins i'm buying and selling but defy is a huge opportunity especially if you want to just you know get involved in cryptocurrency and learn not more not much about trading defy is amazing so if you are interested in all of that guys hit that like button and subscribe you know creating these presentation slides takes a lot longer than making price prediction videos so any likes it uh, would be really really appreciated so talking about bonding um let's say the price is 200 dollars. i'll just repeat myself you get a discount so this incentivizes people to come in and give their ethereum give their die to the protocol and that's how they create the treasury and with that money they can you know print more ohms and in have that crazy staking rewards that they have treasury inflows is used to increase treasury balance back outstanding ohms and regulate staking apy ohm tokens if you stake here compounds yield automatically through treasury backed currency with intrinsic value so the question that most people will have in their mind is can ohm go to zero as the protocol controls the funds in its treasury ohm can only be minted and burned by the protocol this also guarantees that protocol can be backed by one ohm with one die i've shared with you how it does that this also so you can easily define the risk of your investment because you can confident be confident that the protocol will indefinitely buy own below one die with treasury assets until no one is left to sell you can't trust the feds but you can trust the code so i would rather trust the own protocol code than the feds and the, that is if you're involved in cryptocurrency decentralized world then you know i'm assuming that you have a fear of it inflation the amount of dollars being printed and this is a new approach and i'm not saying ohm's going to be the dollar ohm's going to be the bitcoin but they have brought a, a different way of thinking you know defy came in with a different thoughts and then we've seen luna ftm now you know going absolutely parabolic ohm could be the leader but what they have brought this approach to backed uh, treasury back currency could you know create something new and i, I do think this is uh, opening you know defy 2.0 defy 2.3 and another quote I've copied again, you can find this as well. Every day, if there's a, I can't remember the law now, if every day it doesn't go to zero is another day it will never go to zero. So the longer something exists in this world, the likelier that it will carry on existing. And this is a theory I can't remember. I think it's Nasib Taleb. I can't remember his full name. And he's done it. His theory is the longer something exists in the world, the longer it will carry on existing. So Bitcoin is part of the world now in a way, unless, you know, quantum computing or something crazy happened, you'd expect expect bitcoin to carry on lasting and same with ohm it's already lasted this long and if if it carries on going ahead more people will believe into it more people will buy into the vision and it's more likely it's less it's lesser likely that it will ever go to zero i've explained to you what bonding is and that's how sort of Olympus DAO works at the moment again this change uh, this is a screenshot of that um live page that i showed you uh, this is at the, previously it was each own was backed by 73 dollars and it depends on circulating supply the price of ohm and it always changes and go to the dashboards and you can see it for yourself but each ohm is backed by 73 dollars and you know if you're looking to invest in ohm you'd want your own uh, your own so that if even if ohm drops to that value you're still in profits and if you can get to that you know you can take some money off and even you know you can if, if, with technical analysis if it dips you can look to buy more and, and make even more money but for most people i think that you're thinking long term and you just want to make sure you break even you make your money back and um, i'll touch on that in this video but i will i've created an excel spreadsheet so if you are interested in that comment below um, maybe i'll upload it onto google and share it with you guys the excel spreadsheet that i use to calculate the apys but i will make another detailed video on that this is a, a video trying to explain to you what olympus dow and ohm works so staking so most people that will buy own will, will obviously look to stake the apy is crazy why would you not look to stake so the staking process uh, through which the protocol is, is the process through which protocol issues new ohm there are a few reasons as to why ohm 
holders would want to stake their tokens for starters like with other systems it can allow them to lock in their share of total token supply and avoid facing dilution in addition the high ohm dominated returns can only offset the price risk that comes with the volatility of the token so amount if you think about the amount of money you can make uh, by staking on the rewards you'll get even if the price drops because uh, you'll be earning so much ohm you'll still be in profit and this is also if you think about uh, how it's staking your it's growing people the earlier people get into this uh, crypt this ohm dao you have your stake in the pie and your pie creeps growing because you'll be getting the new ohms that are being issued and that is a really powerful concept so let's say you get in today with ten thousand dollars and you always have your own stake the amount of ohm will be growing for you and you'll always have that part of the protocol and and that is a powerful concept and that's one one of the things that sold ohm to me so is this sustainable so the the rewards were even crazier before and you can see that the rewards are drop, dropping so it's not a ponzi scheme the rewards are going to drop you know it was three and a half thousand now it was eight thousand higher before so the rewards of ohm this is the apy over time what, what you can expect um and and you know we're not going to see crazy apys apys are going to drop and um if you if you look at it now the uh, the supply the, this is the plan for the supply uh, the circulating supply of ohm and how the olympus dow apy is going to drop so at the moment it's still crazy you're still getting over a thousand percent ap three thousand percent apy it is going to drop uh, overall so if you are looking to get in with the price where it's dropped it could be it's a again it's not financial advice you can look into it yourself but it, it could be a good time to get in so if there are a hundred thousand ohm stake right now the protocol would need to mint additional 60 Six three six six thirty two ohm to achieve this daily growth. This is achievable if the protocol can bring in at least three six three. Can't seem to say six hundred thirty three, six hundred thirty six six hundred thirty two point eighty of daily revenue from bond sales. Even if the protocol doesn't bring in that much revenue, it can still sustain a thousand percent APY for a considerable amount of time due to the excess reserve in the treasury. So. I've explained to you the treasury reserve that they have uh, even if bond people are not bonding and you know bonding you can make money just by bonding and I'll make a maybe a strategy video explain to you how you can make money by bonding when bonding could be you know more profitable than even staking but if people are keep bonding because they can make money the the value of ohm treasury will carry on going up they'll be you know bringing money in which they can use to give the apy staking rewards but even if that stopped because of the thousand percent apy the considerable amount of money that they have in the uh, in the treasury they can still give sustain of a thousand percent apy but it will drop over time so how can i make money so the main question that everyone's going to ask how you can make money um let's say uh, i want to actually let's talk about the game theory first and um, then i'll uh, then I'll talk about how much money you can make. So game three was, I'm sure you've seen three, three uh, memes everywhere. And I'll try to explain to you what this means. Uh, I'll, I'll use an example. This will take a bit of time, but it's really important that you understand this. So Olympus, uh, Olympus our game theory. So the way game theory works is basically it's, it's, a, it's a study of strategic independence. So there are many situations in life where the best response is to a situation depends on what other people will do. So a macroeconomics and, and, and I'm sure you've heard the prison a dilemma uh, if you've been you know researching into game theory or study psychology i'm sure you've heard about the, pr uh, uh, the prisoner dilemma but this is a very good example i've read which will help you understand why ohm could carry on working and why you know the 3 3 meme what the 3 3 meme is so uh, think about this scenario firms only invest if customers will buy goods customers only buy goods if they're paid wages customers are paid wages by firms only if they buy goods so these are the situations and where people have to make decisions and let's think about the positive one so firms think that customers will buy so they expand production customers buy these goods because they're getting more wages expanded profits allow firms to pay higher wages and you can see it's like a, how economy works you know when everything's going up the, the you know there's money in the banking interest rates are low people are getting loans starting businesses hiring people more people getting higher wages buying more goods and it's just a positive cycle and the pessimistic view is that you know firms do not think customers will buy customers restrict purchasing power the wages uh, the wages go but there's job losses and there's a negativity in the markets you, you can use apply the same thing and i recommend you read, read this it's just amazing and i use 
game theory in my investing you know which coins i'm buying so at the moment we are trading layer one solutions and we're seeing huge moves in ftm nia atom if you are interested in watch my live stream yesterday i shared with you a couple of trades and if you are interested in staking uh, the calculators DeFi strategies check out the rockstar trading group we are going to be doing a lot more DeFi strategies as well uh, but if you're interested in more trading content i'll leave the links below for less than 30 bucks there's a special offer it's not 40 it's 30 bucks you can trial us for a month to see if this group is for you let's come back to staking rewards and game theory so staking if both people are staking is three three because you know no one's selling the price is going up people are buying to um again this is this is where ponzi or ponzinomics come in if everyone's just holding coming more people buying got the price keeps going up even if people you know stake and bond is still good for the ecosystem because people are bonding more money's coming in people are staking getting the apys and restaking compounding and these are all positive for the uh, for the ecosystems. If you go if you go back to uh, what I was uh, what, what what I was trying to explain to you about game theory and the economic activity, if you know there's more jobs, more people spending, uh, people paying higher wages is good for the whole economy. And if if people are staking and bonding, it's ho it's good for the whole economy for the uh, for home. So that is the positive. If game theory wise, you can see more people expecting to do it. There are people that you know look to sell, and if people start selling and unstaking, unbonding, that is bad for the ecosystem, and that's what we have seen that, that the price has dipped, and that's because of that. You know, Bitcoin down, people were scared, people were taking profit, and and it dropped. And if we have a bottoming pattern here and people start getting excited about oh, I mean I'm making a video I'm looking to stake myself I've put some money in already and I'll put more money in live on video so I'll be making videos in the future putting live money in share with you how to do it yourself step by step if we start doing this you'll see me making money you'll see your friends making money you'll look to buy more and and the price carries on going up that's how you know game theory that's how you know cryptocurrency technical analysis works so these are the different scenarios when we both sell it creates the worst outcome for both of us and protocol loses money so guys that's sort of the fundamental analysis of it um, i want to touch on how much money you can make now so let's talk about how much money you can expect to make so let's say uh, you, you buy an own today and I, I'll, i've got a calculator out how much you make but i want to share with you a bit more about the psychology again so let's say you buy an own for four hundred dollars now and the market decides that in a year's time the intrinsic value of own will be two dollars one point i think i forgot to mention was you know no one controls own we you know it's owned by the community we make the decisions of you know what to do so you know if the dow or the community decides that uh, one ohm should be backed by two dollars we can do that so it's not like the u.s government some rich people making decisions that affects all of us uh, olympus is decentralized and you know, the community makes decision so let's say the intrinsic value goes up to a dollar assuming the daily compounding interest rates of two percent so again that crazy apy we've got if that's sustainable your balance would grow to your one ohm will grow to almost 1400 by end of the year and that is absolutely crazy and that time the the floor price of it will be two dollars so even if it dumps to a dollar or two dollars you've still made money even if it, if it's one dollar you've still got thirteen hundred dollars so you know you, you've paid four hundred dollars now but even if own price drops to a dollar you still made money and that's the goal and that's where we want to get to because then you're you can say it's almost like a risk-free trade and for me you know i'm close to getting to the floor price and that would be amazing for me but you know that is the ultimate goal and you know we want to make money but there's always risk in cryptocurrency the first thing i want to teach is risk management if you're watching our youtube videos or part of a group first thing i i talk about is risk management and you know the luna trading strategies i've made is it talks about risk-free stable coin delta neutral make money where the price goes up or down if you can get to that point in ohm staking ohm that's where you can take half off take some profits and see what happens with it if this protocol does succeed then yeah i mean i don't want to talk about generational wealth it could be a really successful investment so what if you bought 10 ohms how much money can you make so if you bought 10 ohms today in 30 days you'll have 13 ohms um, and the usd value for that if the price stays the same would be that so you know crazy returns and i i i i, I was you know thinking shall i 
uh, share with you the screenshot because there's so much to talk about is the price going to stay the same is the staking rewards going to stay the same what happens you know what happens if bitcoin dumps again there's lots of questions but if the price staking reward stays the same that is how much you can look to make so that's i mean the next video that i make will be a calculator video so i'll get a sorry the next video is going to be a how-to video i'll share with you how to actually stake step by step i'll put in you know 10 grand or some money in and share with you how to do it do it live on, on a youtube video so make sure you subscribe that video will be coming out in the next couple of days i'll try to make two videos a week rather than you know content just price prediction videos because this video takes a lot more time to prepare uh, that will be the next video and then the video after i'll get a calculator i'll get my spreadsheet and you know let me know you know join the group or comment below i'll share it with you for free i'll update it into google drive and and you can access it in my calculator and then we can talk about scenario planning how much how long will it get take how long will it take you to get to a risk-free stage how long you know where you can take half off and you know take take your first investment out we can play with the calculator and maybe do that on a live stream and uh, we can agree on a best way to proceed so guys that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys hit that like button it takes a lot of time to prepare this but i really want to help you out and i think this is it could be a great project and my the main goal i'll do my price prediction before in the video is could we have another rally in ohm it, even if we don't have a rally we could you know potentially not lose as much or make some money but if we get that crazy rally in ohm and dows again that could be in you know, a revolutionary you know life-changing sort of money and and that's technical analysis wise i was looking for it here i didn't get it so i say staking it here now and you know it's getting close to that you know almost the floor price uh, people call it and let, let's say if we can start putting a bottom in and rally if we can do that that could be amazing time to uh, start staking and inv investing in olympus dow and ohm so if you have any questions guys comment below reach out to me on twitter and you know comment below I'll try to you know look at those questions and you know in in the ohm live stream with a calculator ohm live stream and um, let me know what your thoughts are you know if there's a video you want me to make is it a calculator ohm live stream is it how to show you how to you know transfer money from metamask and stake it on ohm let me know in the comment section below what you'd want for uh, future content and also if you have any questions it's already been a long video so i won't keep you any longer but hopefully you get something out of it and you know in cryptocurrency nothing happens for for free you have to put the time in you have to do your research even after watching this video read about game theory read their white paper you know do more research on them work out for yourself and there are some delta neutral strategies as well which will probably come through in the future so price prediction wise guys i've been in the rockstar trading group we were looking to buy ohm here and i actually bought ohm on on this exchange not staked it for a trade and then once it got back below that is quite bearish and it's a market structure break and again if you are interested it's really important the best people will you know i'm trying to learn defy now if you can know how defy works get those crazy apys and and use your technical analysis and try to ride those defy projects whilst it's going up that's going to be my goal because i'm more of a trader but this year i want to do this with some amazing projects i'm looking at phantom and tomb finance and um, we've already seen you know we made crazy money last year with Luna and terra ecosystem that is something i want to do more of this year so i was looking to do this here with the group and once it broke down i was like well i'm not interested i'll wait for a bottoming structure i was getting interested here but then it broke again but now where the price is i'm actually you know i've started doing it now i've put some money in staking already and once it starts trend changing and you know if we see some market structure break to the upside we're seeing lots of people talking about it on youtube and twitter i'm gonna look to jump more in home and look to stake more and that's when we can jump in home for the trend higher and hopefully we can dump on newbies around thousand two thousand or wherever the price because you can see how high it can go and once the fomo kicks in i mean even you guys are probably watching it thinking oh the price is dumping i don't want to buy it but if the price starts going up you your friends and you know in three months time or a year's time we're commenting below this video can i get in ohm now is it too late so hopefully we get a fomo rally in ohm it might not it might just keep dipping and hopefully i'll be able to get my investment out that's the sort of price prediction what i see for ohm and if you believe in game theory what ohm is trying to do if you think that they have some value then put some money in long term if you're looking to trade it maybe you'd want to wait for a structure break and then stake it but also you could look to stake now and try to get your investment now as long as the price goes sideways and you know the price and staking we will stay the same so those are a few strategies i'll talk about strategies in the future videos but this video was explaining to you what ohm is my thoughts on it uh, so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if, if to finish the 
video what is your thoughts on ohm do you think it's an amazing project do you think it will carry on pumping do you think it has got a future if you so comment below your thoughts and yeah thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel check out our group if you're interested for DeFi and technical analysis and trading and if not guys just hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go olympus dow